Kitana. I want your status. I want to be Princess of Edenia. It is my right! You have no right! You are not my sister! You were born of Shang Tsung's sorcery for Shao Kahn. What right do you have to the throne, Videnia? No. No! You are evil and have no place in this world! You are right, Kitana. But if I have no right to this realm, then neither will you! Kitana's longtime enemy Shao Kahn was dead, and the alliance between Shang Tsung and Quan Chi was defeated with the help of warriors from Earthrealm. Although there was peace once more throughout the realms, all was not right for Kitana. Saddened by the death of Goro, she attended a ceremony in the Kuatan Palace to honor her fallen friend and ally. Following Shokan tradition, Prince Goro's body was lowered into the molten rock contained within the throne room itself. As Kitana said goodbye to her wartime ally, she also held a moment of silence for Liu Kang and secretly wished he had joined her in Edenia so many years ago. With the Dragon King destroyed, Kitana made her way home to the realm of Edenia. During her journey, she was met by a being made of fire. He informed Kitana that her premonition of a looming conflict was correct, and that she must unite the forces of good for a coming battle to preserve the realms. Disheartened, Kitana fell to her knees. When will it end, she cried. Every victory leads to more conflict and greater adversaries. Blaze simply replied, if all goes as planned, your enemies will be destroyed. Kitana attained a psychic connection with the Elder Gods and became their champion. To preserve the integrity of the realms, she formed an all-female fighting force whose members included Sindel, Jade, Sonya, and Li Mei. Together, they laid waste to the forces of darkness and trapped them in the Netherrealm forever. With no base of operations after their devastating losses in Outworld, Kitana sought asylum in Earthrealm for her surviving Edenian resistance fighters. Raiden granted them Shang Tsung's abandoned island, where they would remain hidden from mortal eyes. Kitana and her warriors remade the former site of the Mortal Kombat tournament into a bastion of beauty and light. To honor the god of Edenia, they renamed their new home Argus Island. Kitana had ended Shao Kahn's life for his betrayal. She had discovered the truth about Melina, but rather than slay her as well, she took pity on her half-sister. She offered Melina a home within the Edenian aristocracy. She was, after all, of royal blood. Melina cautiously accepted her sister's invitation. With Melina and Jade at her side, Kitana formed a fighting force dedicated to bringing justice to the realms. Never again would a warlord arise to create such terror. Kitana found herself walking the streets of a magnificent, shining city. This was Edenia, a realm freed from Outworld, and Kitana was its beautiful queen. This was the timeline unaltered by Raiden. 
Earthrealm had been destroyed by Shao Kahn, but Katana had survived Armageddon and united the other realms to destroy him. Long-lasting peace was the result. Katana awoke from this vision to find herself in the Nether Realm. She was not the queen of Edenia, but a revenant of Hell, and she hated Raiden for it. As I gazed upon the hourglass, I knew what I must do. Restore my homeland Adinia to existence. Experiencing Adinia's verdant lands for the first time, I've never felt such joy. <laughs> but that joy was short-lived. Adinia's traditions, its languages, its culture, all were completely foreign, having been forbidden to me by Shao Kahn. I fit in with my people no better than a Tarkatan. The truth was hard. Though Adinian by blood, I am not an Adinian. I am an Outworlder. Not only that, I am Outworld's Khan. I will use ancient Adinian teachings to make myself a better sovereign. With them, I will fulfill my life's mission to better all of Outworld's people, including Adinia.